Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little party bunting. I personally used this yarn, which is Scheepjes Katona, but you can use any yarn. Um, with this thickness of yarn, I use about 75 centimeters or 30 inches yarn per little flag. So it's actually perfect to use up little scraps of yarn you might have. I also use the crochet hook. I used a 2.5 millimeter crochet hook, but if you use thicker or thinner yarn, you're gonna have to adjust the size of your crochet hook. Um, then, of course, scissors and a yarn needle. We start by chaining two. Then in the first loop, so the second from uh, from the hook, we single crochet two times. One and two. Then we chain one, turn our work around, and then we do in the, the first stitch, the stitch, we do an increase. One, two, and then in the other, we do a single crochet. One. Then we do chain one, turn around. And now again, we're gonna do an increase And the rest of the way, which is two stitches, we do single crochets. Single crochet one and single crochet. Make sure that I have all the loops. Single crochet two. Again, chain, turn around. Now we're gonna, again, just do increase and then single crochet the rest, which here is single crochet three. Chain one and turn. Then again, this is the last row that we're doing. We're doing an increase. And then the rest of the way, which is four stitches, we do single crochet. So single crochet four, one, two, three, four. And that is actually it. You can see that kind of gives you a little triangle. We're just gonna cut our yarn. We don't need to leave a lot of yarn. I just do a few centimeters like this. We end it. And we have one part of our little bunting. When I'm finished uh, like this, I immediately like to kind of weave the yarn in. What I do, I just take my, uh, take my bunting and I try to kind of get some loops And just get my needle through a few loops then get the yarn through my needle weave it in like this and cut off the last bit of yarn and then just kind of make sure that it has the right shape again I'm gonna do the same with this Get the needle through some of the loops and get the yarn through, cut it off, and that leaves me with a little triangle. So 
depending on how long you want your bunting to be, you make a bunch more. So um, to explain this, I actually already prepared a bunch of different colors so that we can, um, yeah, make the bunting. So to make it, I'm gonna use black to attach all of them. But of course you can use any color combination that you want. I make sure that all of my uh, little triangles are facing the same way. So all of them are with the last row on top, which you can recognize um, that you can see all of the hoops, uh, like all of the top stitches like this. And I lay them down so that they are all facing the same way. So um, I don't have anything like this, but they are all facing the same way. And now that they're all facing the same way, I can start attaching them. I like having a little bit of extra end on, on the sides so that I can hang it somewhere. So to do that, I'm going to start with chaining 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, nine ten if you want a longer end you can just crochet longer if you want maybe like a little hoop on the end you can just choose to do a slip stitch in here in the first one do a slip stitch and then do some more single crochets which gives you a little hoop you can use to um, yeah to hang it somewhere I am not gonna do this so I'm gonna just have the 10 single crochets um, and now start attaching the um, the bunting so for the bunting I start with the first one I make sure that it is facing the right way and in these uh, in all of these top stitches I'm gonna do a single crochet so it's gonna be six single crochet so I'm gonna start in the first single crochet one two three four five and six so now this is attached to the main bunting before doing another one i want a little bit of distance between the triangles so i'm gonna single crochet five i mean i'm gonna chain five one two three four five if you want a longer distance you can chain a bit more but i think five gives me a good effect and then I'm just going to repeat the same thing for all of the bunting. So again, I am going to do single crochet six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. So as you can see, that way you get your bunting. I'm just gonna um, continue the rest like that and then get back to you on how to do the end. I actually made this bunting because I just reached 1500 subscribers on YouTube. If you want to see more patterns, then be sure to subscribe as well. So I am now at my last little triangle that I want to triangle that I want to attach. So I did the uh, chain five. Now I will do the 
single crochet six as I did with all of them and to end it I am just gonna uh, just like at the start I am gonna be doing a chain 10 If I want a little loop at the end, I can chain a bit, bit more and then do a, a slip stitch um, and that gives you a little, uh, a little loop to end it. I don't want that, so I'm just going to end it here, cut the yarn and then through and that leaves me with this cute little bunting. So you can see everything is attached to each other and yeah I think it looks really cute and you can make them in loads of different colors um, yeah if you lay them down they look kind of zigzaggy but if you if you hang them up then yeah gravity is gonna do the work for you and they um, yeah they just look uh, looks right so I hope you have fun making this bunting. If you like tutorials like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you again. Bye!